In 1917, when Zina Griffel was 17 years old, she came to America by herself from the Ukraine. It was during the Russian Revolution and during World War I. During the Russian Revolution, the Tsar of Russia got thrown out and the Bolsheviks, communists, took over. This changed a lot for the people of Russia. Zina was the last in her family to come to America. All of them had to get fake IDs so they could travel because they were Jewish and otherwise wouldn't be allowed to. Because of World War I, in addition to taking a boat to America, Zina had to travel through Siberia and Japan on the Trans-Siberian Railroad to avoid where the war was going on. It was a lot of traveling, but according to my grandpa, there were probably organizations like HIAS, the Hebrew Immigrant Society, to help her. Even so, she was only 17, and she was going to a new country during a war, and she was Jewish, so it's hard to know how much the organization really helped. Finally, after a lot of traveling, Zena arrived at Ellis Island by boat and into New York. Once she was in New York, she became a seamstress and continued to be one for most of her life. Zena also had three kids. One of them is my grandpa, and this is a picture of her with them once they were all grown up. And then Zena's kids had kids, and one of them is my mom. This is a picture with Zena, my grandpa, his brother and sister, and my grandpa's children. Zena did a lot in her life, and it was not always easy, but in the end it was worth it. She became a happy family. Zena came to America alone. She died in 1991, but her family grew and grew and was very happy. This is a picture of the three generations after her, the oldest being my grandpa and grandma and the youngest being me and my cousins.